everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Jujutsu Kaisen mod with me, a bottom bottom. Yeah, we're in here. Oh, we're gonna go hunt. We're gonna go hunt for some some bits and pieces that are gonna respawn. I've already, you know, began as I was getting ready to do the intro there. But um, yeah. Anyway, so the update came out. We got we got uh, you know, the the chimera. Uh, we don't we don't have access to him anymore because he got destroyed. Quite unfortunate that. And uh, yeah, with that means I don't get him back until the reset apparently. Because uh, yeah, apparently there's still a bug with him. Apparently, if you put him away, like you should right click on to put him away, it will just delete him from your option list. So that's unfortunate for now. Oh well, back in it all. Anyway, I didn't mean to summon that there, but whatever. All right, dog. Good luck. Good luck, dog. You can help me out. Yeah, anyway, so did a little mod review, looking at the update and other random bits, which, oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of clothes added in. Uh, we've got more clothes, we can go hunt, assuming we can find the people, you know, actually. Trying to get a hold of the clothes. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, there were some good ones in there too, which included Shadow Shukunish, uh outfit, which... I mean, I'm on a whole thing of trying to beat him, so... <laughs> like, I'll give that a go, but... It's not, it's not exactly going well for me so far, has it? Uh... We'll see how it goes. Oh, so hello. Wait, what? Oh, there you are. I was gonna say, wait, we just hit and broke the entire platform bit on. Yeah, that'd be this. Yeah, that makes sense. Blonk. Blonk. There we go. Can you not leave me alone? Oh, dog, you're alive. I, I, I genuinely thought he got destroyed there. But yeah, anyway, she's a whole bunch of fish to go for and dump a dump shark to kill and all. Now, I was thinking, like, you know, a whole bunch of such many ten shadows well could possibly get added. There is actually still some more stuff that technically got added, so, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, apparently there's a couple more variations of very certain things, like, you know, the frogs and the dogs. So, uh, that's, uh, that's a possibility that's true, I suppose. Then there's the whole merging in the shadows thing and summoning items from the shadows thing. I don't know how the summoning items thing would really work, because, like, we have an inventory already. We can, we can kind of already do the summoning items from, uh, shadows thing already, because we literally just go into our back pocket and pull out weapons. <laughs> Of different varying degrees, so I mean that one seems a bit redundant. Imagine getting a shadows one though. No, I knew how that one would work. I mean that would be a thing. Maybe not. Who knows? Either way, we'll see if the ten shells gets any more updates. I suppose or see any more tricks appear for them. I'm, it does seem like manga wise though, like that's like that. That's it. We've, we've seen them, right? Like, we've seen what the ten shells can do. Like there's there's no more tricks in there, which is a shame because I'd love to see more combinations of chimeras. From like different beasts and stuff, but like, you know, we've got the two dogs together. And it, it made kind of a big deal about that when it first happened. Then we just never saw really another one freeze. It, it, it'd be cool to see more chimeras, but never mind, what can you do? But anyway, that was a whole that was a whole thing. As I chill here we are, there we go. Hello guys. I don't know how long it takes for these things to respawn, but since I started recording, it's happened twice. To be fair, I don't know what the gap between, like, go away. I don't know what the gap between, like, me, obviously, like, it first happening, me destroying thing, and then, you know, it happening again during the video. Or, like, you know, the, 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 the. it's only a couple of minutes anyway. It's not very long, given that I've been talking the entire time. It's not very long, the time required. Where is, where is Finger Bearer this time? Where is he? He could be outside, technically. <laughs> Ice users here, awesome. Uh, are you up on the roof by any chance? Can you even be up on the roof anymore? Is that even a thing? Is that even a thing anymore? Who is that? Who's that there? <laughs> I can't tell. I really need to get all the six eyes at some point. Uh, yeah, that's just a shadow thing there. I think, yeah, no, that's not what we care about. Kill, yeah, it's gonna walk right here. Anyway, other random little, not really random, other, uh, kill thing that's happened recently. He's not, he's not up there. He's not up there. He must be outside. He must be outside. Where is he? Where is he? But yeah, other other thing that came out. The uh oh, there you are. Hello, Black Lish. Be gone. Yes, the Demon Slayer movie came out in Japan. That was a little thing. Hashira training arc. It's finally out apparently. But I, I don't know. I just saw it trending. Never seen little bits of. Like, uh, uh, certain screens and stuff from it. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's up. They're back again? That was quick. Hello? Yo? 
Is it a random timer? It's always a set time? Does it just depend on how quickly I beat the guy? Like, I wasn't expecting it that quick there. Then again, I spent a good bit of time hunting for a certain lad, didn't I? So maybe, maybe this, the amount of time did pass. I don't know, either way, there's a good chance we're going to get a couple more fingers today, so I can up my power a bit more. <laughs> oh dear, I don't, I don't see, I don't see the lad anywhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is there. Uh, oh yeah, I put a ladder. I was about to say, how did I get up there again? Oh yeah, I put a ladder there, specifically because it's a pain to get up there. Kill, 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 kill. Yeah, let's just quickly. Uh, uh. Aha! Alright. Bonk. All of that. I don't know how many fingers I'm currently on, but, you know, we've got a few more. Wait, you can break blocks. Oh. I didn't think I think could break blocks. I thought it was too weak. Black flesh. Yo. But the last one is right. It is giving me a slight itch to try playing Demon Slayer again, but I don't know how well... Ugh. How, how, do, how do we feel about that, though, becomes a question. Oh, so wait, those those millipedes weren't there before. Did it respawn again? I think it's respawned again. It's respawned again. Hello? Oh, you're just here this time. Ow. Bonk. There we go. We don't need that wall there. Yeah, guys, slightly thinking for playing Demon Slayer again, but I'm, like, I'm just sat there thinking, like, do I really want to, do we want to play Demon Slayer again, though? Like, I mean, it's not updated, and, like, it's ridiculously easy because there's no commands to make it harder. I think. Actually, I've never tried putting Demon Slayer on hard mode, but I don't, I don't know if that's the thing. It'd be fun, though. Alternatively, I could just mix it with some other mods, like the Jutsu Kaisen mods. <laughs> and just not pick a Jutsu Kaisen ability. <laughs> And uh, then just try with Demon Slayer. I, I that would be hell. That would be that'd be absolutely horrid. Like the amount of power output we require for this mod for us to work. Actually, I say that, but then you can also get access to things like the mark for healing and uh even like you know the moves and blood and stuff. Actually, I don't know. Like Jutsu Kaisen just seems like it scales a lot higher in terms of damage output. Like when you start this mod, you're given like strength three, resistance two. <laughs> When you start Demon Slayer, you're given Strength 1, uh, Resistance 1. Because, you know, it's expected that you're going to do fine against the demons for a bit. Uh, I don't know, I feel like one slightly outskills the other in terms of, you know, damage and enemy caliber. Like, if I was to put... I'm, I'm trying to think what could even compare against, like, some of the stuff from Jutsu Kaisen, because it's got so many updates. Like, they used to be kind of comparable, but even then, it's like Jutsu Kaisen always won. Because, like, Sukuna and Gojo were always just way stronger. With the exception being Yorowichi, but that's because he's just Gax. Like, th that guy literally just goes, nah, I'm going to block everything. But even then, he can't, like, a lot of times he can't win some of his fights. Like, I, I think he technically beats Sukuna. But, like, technically he's beating Sukuna on the technicality that Sukuna can't hit him. Actually, would he be able to hit him now? Sukuna did get updates. There has been updates. There has been changes made. I'm really curious about that. I'm kind of curious who could win some of these fights now. Oh, so where is this guy? I thought stuff respawned again. Where where did the lad... Where where did he go? Where where be him? Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. I don't see him anywhere. This is unfortunate. Wait, can the thing even respawn if, like, the, the finger bear is still alive? Does it care about that? Can you have several finger bears built up in the one area? If I just sat AFK here for, like, an hour... <laughs> Would it just slowly build up mobs, or does it only trigger if, like, there's no finger bearer within the area? I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it, though. Also, I'm kind of curious about the kind of power up I can get if I normal on all these really quick. Um... Damn it. The squid's just another one. The squid's going to be another one of those annoying enemies I can't hit very well. Right, hold on. I'm going to try this really quick. Quickly grab, quickly grab it. Not you. Quickly grab uh, old test dummy. I try to use like a technique, like say, dismantle, dragon scales, propulsion, pair of meteors, 233, uh, awesome, and then we just have a number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12, and lucky number 13, and the enemies are back, yay, dragon scales, propulsion, pair of meteors, Long. 251, it's a little bit stronger I suppose. It's a little bit stronger. I mean, we're also a little bit stronger because of it, so that's fun. Anyway, hello, people. Just want to get out of my way. 
Also, where is where is next finger bear? I'm literally gonna level this place. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, because things will still re I think even if I level the place, things will still respawn. It'll just make my life a bit simpler finding everything. In theory actually wait, if I just malevolent and shrine this place, would it make everything a lot simpler? Also, oh, my curse energy. I just noticed. I forgot when you get to certain points it jumps up by a bunch. Yo. Fall out. Found him. Hey, that did very little. You you ate that really well. Also, I really don't want to destroy this thing. I don't know if he can destroy this thing. I don't really want to risk destroying this thing. Also, I know you only ate that well because it was like a really weak one that I did, but like even still, I'm still I'm still shocked at how well you're eating these slashes. Like Taking him relatively well, finger number 14. Our power has jumped to 12,000. I think it goes up by, what, 300 a level? Up until a certain point, and then it starts to go up by 1,000 a point. So now we get 12,000 curse energy. Right, we now get three times curse energy. Okay, it's not max. It's not max of 17,000. 18,000, whatever it is. But, you know, it's, it's 12,000. That's pretty ridiculously high. In theory, we should totally be able to fight Sukuna now, right? We'll see about that. Also, I'm gonna try this really quick. But don't. Domain expansion. Malevolent shrine. I'm destroying everything in the area. We don't need cover. Plus, I, I really just want the place to be flattened a bit. So if you know when the when the guy does spawn, I can just see him. But I've done I've done a very key thing here. I've I've stood up here. That way, I'm above that thing. So I don't know. Like I don't know if malevolent shrine can break that spawner. I don't really want to test it. Never mind, it broke the spawn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't know if it could or not. Okay, that answers that question then. <laughs> oh, I should have done it a little bit higher up. Oh, that's really unfortunate. It's fine. I know where another prison is. I, I felt like testing that one just to see. It's fine, probably. Oh, that's a shame. That's a waste of resources. Okay, I seem to be really careful with the next one. I can't risk breaking the second one. <laughs> if I break it as well, I might actually have no options for spawners anymore. Alright, let's go walk then. Actually, wait, if I... Hold on. How does... How does... Can I... Okay, it's still, it's still in that mode. That's right. Okay, the thing will run after five minutes. Then once I reset, I'll get all my power. And I'll be at, like, I, I assume 12,000 again. I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah, the next thing is this way, which is through the forest. That's kind of annoying. I... I hate going through the forest. Can I just like destroy chunks of this? And, like, I mean, sort of. It'd be really slow. <laughs> In theory, I could clear a chunk of this forest though to make traveling simpler. I could just go crazy with it and just go, you know, domain expansion, malevolent shrine, and then you know, I just I just flatten the entire jungle area. And I cancel that really quick so the timer starts again. There you go. I've got a clear path. I really hate traveling through jungles and this is such a pain. I'm being attacked by a fish right now. Go away. Oh, it's an army of you. Uh, be gone. Be gone. Okay, wait. Am I nearby the thing I was after? It is... It's somewhere over there. I gotta go through the jungle. What? That's a whole pain. Also, power up. Blonk. Myself an easier time getting over. Okay, not that much easier. I still need to do like a big high jump. I can't I can't jump that high. One thing I would be happy to see Demon Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just remembered Demon Slayer's only at 1.16.5. Even if I mixed it with the Jutsu Kaisen, it wouldn't have all the new 1.20 stuff. Which to be fair, it's it's still the majority of the stuff in. Like it's still of hard modes. <laughs> Among other things. So yeah, life would still be brutal. What be what be losing? We're losing animations, We're losing ice user. Stuff like that. Not a huge, not like an, an enormous amount. Like 1.20 is not that much added yet by comparison to, you know, everything that's in the mod. Miss a couple of things, couple of wee changes. Sukuna and Gojo got given high speed movement and stuff. So things will be a little bit easier in theory. But, um, you know, for the most part, it's mostly all there. Could totally, could totally mix those two together. I feel like I need to put some, something else in to try and help Demon Slayer out. 
I was going to try and just be a demon slayer in a Jutsu Kaisen world, essentially. That's what it boiled down to. It wouldn't be trying to beat Muzen. It'd be pushing beyond that and trying to beat, you know, Sukuna and stuff. Uh oh. Oh, no, it's just my Sukuna mode running it. Oh. Oh, 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 it jumped out to before I ate all the fingers. Oh, that's what it. Okay. I mean, I want that energy back, so I'm going to have to reset at some point soon. Before that, though, I suppose I'll quickly nip in here and, like, you know. Maybe grab another finger while I'm here. I also probably set a new marker. <laughs> okay, don't domain expansion this one. I'm being attacked by tons of stuff. Hello! Blomp. Blomp. Alright, where is the lads? Slash. I have no issue breaking apart all the top area here. I will absolutely do it. Where, where? Show me, show me the finger man. Where is he? Oh wait, I don't see the stuff in here for respawning. Wait, what? 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 Where is the? I mean, the stuff totally just respawns. Like, where, where, where is the? Where is the spawner? Is not hiding. Where is your spawner? Where is the command thingy? Okay, this place is weirder. Uh, whatever. Let's just quickly nip up here. Is it light up here? Let's see here. Hello? He is here! Oh, so this is the one with the hole in it. Which a bunch of them had for a while. Then, uh, the mod update happened and it got fixed. Interesting. So, wait, is this the one where, like, the spawner is, uh, like, hidden somewhere different? Might be. I might be hidden somewhere. Okay, whatever. Don't test the theory anyway. I don't don't test the theory because I don't know if I know where the prison is. I I could risk breaking the first one, you know, just because it's whatever. You know, it used to be over there. Whatever, over there. It, it's whatever. I've got another one over here. So that's fine. I don't know if I've got another another one though. Like that might be our only. You know, wait, there's one right there. Okay, we're fine. We can risk breaking this one as well. Also, would you look at that? All the stuff's respawn. That would, in fact, mean that, uh... Yeah, they don't have the... It's not the new updated one, where it's got, you know, the... I don't even know what that block is, that weird blue milky block thing. Uh, whatever that is, that, it doesn't have that signifying where really, uh, the controller bit is. But it still has one somewhere. I think it's just, like, hidden underground or something. Either way, don't break it. We need it. Oh, so is the lad up here? I don't see him anywhere. Okay, he's probably outside circling the grounds then. Uh, well, I'm technically on the roof. If I want to just have a quick nosy, I could just uh, go quick back and forth. Hello? Bunk. Be gone! Feels good having some kind but I did not mean to jump out there. Oh, never mind! Hello, lads! You were hidden in the wall. Wait, what? What are you doing there? No, oh, he's gone. Bonk. Well, hey, you should have had that. Bonk. Got him. I get two more fingers. There it is! Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't use anything too stupid then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so obviously, like, the spawner just being sat out isn't as cool. Uh, so it's kind of good that, you know, they did a thing to, like, try and hide it and stuff. It also, like, gave you a thing of signifying, hey, there's, there's stuff in this area. And plus it looks a lot more mystical magical when it's got that weird texture thing over it. Rather than just sitting there obvious. But uh yeah, that was a that was a pretty good one. I didn't know someone straight away. Right, anyway, uh, I've got here marked. I've got the broken finger place marked. Um I need to reset. So I guess I should just go out and find something strong. That said, I'm really curious what happens if I eat one of these fingers. My power jumps again, yes, okay. It just it just accumulates. So I've got another snack here. And I, I think Wait, hold on. If I eat this, it would just would it just up my energy? Would it put my energy back up to max at fourteen thousand? Oh, I wonder. I don't know actually. It might. It might just boost my numbers. Wait, what? Who's after me? It sounds like Toji. It's a melee person anyway. Oh, it's you. Never mind. I just heard like lots of melee hits, so I assume Toji. Never mind. Way weaker than Toji. Anyway, I need to go find something strong to get beat by. Or I just need to go out and just keep fighting things and keep winning. Like, yeah, I just need to keep going and never lose. Or, yeah, I'll just I'll just lose a reset, which is also part of the plan. So, hey, let's try and something strong. 
AK, let's find Shadow Sukuna. Let's have a pop up now who gets 13,000 curse energy and see if that makes a difference, eh? Wait a second. <laughs> up we go, up we go. Oh! It's one of new graveyards. Wait, what? This spawned in last time. I didn't notice this. What? What are you doing here? Like, this is an area I went to before this spawning existed. How did you. Huh, okay, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, shovel. Get me down. Pretty sure we can find some cool. Okay, so it's the updated version. Cool, so it must have just spawned in randomly because it felt like it. Cool. It, it, what is this doing here? <laughs> also, this is. Yeah, it's random. Get two weapons. Uh, whatever. Okay, well, I mean, stuff is said to periodically spawn in dead. You could have picked a better place to build your house. How <laughs> did. I can't say I was expecting to find a wee villager just living underneath here. I guess he's the gravekeeper then. I'd really like for him not to get destroyed with what I'm about to do. But like, you know, this area has a spawner. Yeah, there we go. So it will summon stuff. I thought the smallpox demon was part of that summon. Is it just those two? Where is the smallpox demon? I keep calling him demon. He's not a demon. He's a curse, but whatever. I heard the general. Yeah, I've not got the ring on currently, actually, now I think about it. I probably should get that on. Actually, I better get reset. Uh, yeah, just, just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Let's me get my, let's get my curse energy up, you know? Get my curse. Uh, basically, I just, it, it lets me avoid having to spend a 12 on curse energy to summon the guy. Plus, now with my new power, I, in theory, should be able to actually survive a few extra hits. Yeah, I guess the smallpox doesn't summon here? I thought it did. I thought it was smallpox plus... Those little guys, now just little guys spawned. Ah oh, well, whatever. Unless this was created before the smallpox. I, I doubt it make any sense. To be fair, being here in general doesn't make any sense. Ah, oh, whatever. I kinda went out of here now, so like... I was gonna just walk out normally, but I have the ability to break down walls, so you know, I feel like... Okay, this might take a while. Okay, I might just use a shovel and dug out, because that was actually way quicker than... <laughs> Try to do this the hard way. Hello. Bonk. I'm sorry, you just tried to summon a giant fist against me and it just utterly fails. Because it turns out I can, like, just dismantle your technique, apparently. Because in theory, your technique it all have health bars. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty sure dismantle will work on Elephant's Water, too, which I find kind of awesome because it means techniques can clash. And when they clash, like, more destructive ones will win. Or most specifically, Sukuna's one will win because it doesn't have a health bar. So, like, you know, you can't really... Can't really beat it as easily. Yeah, it's Gojo over there. Oh, dear. Oh, you! Hello! Uh, you're gonna be annoying because I know what your ability is. I know what your ability is if you get too close to me. I'd really rather you didn't. Yeah, there we go. I did want your outfit, though. I won't lie. I did want, I did want to steal your clothes really quick. Uh... Mmm... A fight against Gojo. <laughs> Not a good idea. He is still infinitely way stronger than me. Uh, but he's arguably, arguably, arguably easier than Sukuna. Or at least he was. He was a much more annoying fight. Cause you can't use your curse tanks on him. But he was arguably simpler. Well, that still stands or not remains to be seen. Also, Crow's over there. Wait, what? Bonk. Oh, I'm using cleave. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Just, 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 just. I didn't beat him. Okay. Uh, right. What? Uh, okay, I guess we're doing this now then. Uh, <laughs> I can't dismantle him. Yeah, that's right. I need to. Ow. I need to do this this way, don't I? Oh dear. Uh, I need to get hit by his tanks a couple of times so I can eventually learn. Or adapt, sorry, for the general. That's the whole thing. I can also afford to use energy to heal because I have a, I have a sneaky, I have a sneaky extra thing I can do right now. I think <laughs> I can recover some energy, so that's cool. Jozo, he's now a person with clothes I want. Ow, Dodd! You're gonna make this really awkward hitting you if you keep doing this. Less. Ready to go. Oh yeah, you're just gonna heal as well, aren't you? Yeah, it's gonna be a real annoying fight. Oh dear. I forgot Bloom is more intense now. <laughs> I can't even 
very cultural at this. Like, I don't feel pressured health-wise as much because he's not doing as much damage yet. I Like, I know I've got, like, barrels of curse energy, so I know I can fight him more freely, but, like, at the same time, he launches blue. I get launched eons away. The odds to try to hit him while I'm doing that are so slim. Now he's just high-speed movement stuff, so I can't even hit him half the time anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, that did him. I've literally lost two bars of health already. Wow. And like that, I'm in the ocean. <laughs> There's no, there's no good way. Of, excuse me. There's no good way of fighting this guy anymore. Like, the guy's a menace. Like, it, it, <laughs> with the new intense update, <laughs> the new powered up update. So it now, it now has, you know, launches you further around, the quicker. Like, where would he go? <laughs> oh, there he is. Hello. Ow. I kind of wanted to adapt to that anyway. So hey, cool. Awesome. Great. Yeah, oh, now we're in a hole. Oh, no. Oh, that is really not good, actually, because I really don't want to be underground with this guy. So I can't see the dark yet. I like, I'd like to be in, like, a contained space with you, though. If you could create a contained space that doesn't involve us going underground, that'd be awesome. Actually, we're in close quarters right now. Yo. Yeah, never mind. The close quarters are gone. We're now in, uh, we're now in whatever space he's created with blue. Uh, and with that, it's also leading into another at the Water King thing. Yo, I can't see or tell what's going on anymore. Oh, this is why you six eyes. Why I hate fighting underground. Dum ba dum. Oh, so. Go on then, blow more holes everywhere. Oh, it's starting to blow on Curse Sandy. All right, time to nibble on this. Get five minutes. So if in that five minutes, I can burn through my energy, then I'll jump drop, uh, drop back down to 50 to 100. Which is still more than what I originally have. Dude, can you stop knocking me away in the water? <laughs> oh my god, we need rid of the water. Oh, the water. I'd use my domain to get rid of it and create an opening in the ceiling, but like, I know what will happen if I use my domain. <laughs> He'll use his domain as the counter. Actually, wait, will he? He probably will. And that probably would be bad, but it also would just get out of the way. And I really do want an opening to fight in, so... <laughs> okay, wait, that was a terrible idea. Also, General! I was expecting the General to come out. I was expecting the General to come out there. Where's the General? Where's the General? Summon the General! I need the General here, because he can break domains. That's... That's the whole thing. I need the General helping me right now. <gasps> right, domain one! Yes! This is what the General was for. I need him as an equalizer against jo uh, Gojo's domain. And now, we can create a platform worthy of fighting on. Oh, so now I've got help. Oh, so now I've got a domain up currently. That makes life so much easier. Because you can't keep your defenses up or use any fancy techniques or do very much of really any. Oh, so Kenneth's using Hollow Wicker Basket. Wait, what? I, I just saw that. What are you doing here? Dude, you weren't invited to this party. Oh, no. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I can't leave the general fight against Gojo. That won't work. I need to be helping him. <laughs> Alright, deal with Little Sakuna in a second. I only have also so I have unlimited time until the fingers run out. That's another big thing I need to remember about. And also, we are literally digging another hole again. <laughs> Dud! I don't want to go deeper underground. There's another cave under here, I know there is. I'm not at like the, the lowest of the low yet. It's gonna be easier. They're also all fighting me, which is really not ideal. That said, look, Gojo is getting weaker. It's happening. The general has adapted. Okay, then. Yeah, I can't say for certain if that was, uh, that was Sakuna's fault or not. Because they just appeared out of nowhere. Just got us. But, um, yeah, that was going fine until it wasn't. I don't know what happened there. I think Gojo exploded. <laughs> I just got annihilated. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, that I don't really know what I could do against that. That just, it just what happened happened, I suppose. Oh dear. Also, I'm realizing I really should just start carrying around potions at night rune. Because I can make them last about eight minutes. And honestly, a lot of fights don't even last eight minutes. That might be a good idea. That might be our solution. Because we, we can get potion making stuff. That's so much bother. Also, yeah, okay. How many fingers have I eaten out of curiosity? Like, where, where are we at currently? Where is, where is, where is, where is the thing? Where is the thing? None of these things, anyway. Oh, there it is. Boop -ba -doo. We're currently on 16. Okay, cool. I have four more fingers I can eat, which means I can technically pull out that trump card four more times. 
where I can basically boof my uh, curse energy. <laughs> Which I didn't realize was a thing until I, I just started eating them there. Because, yeah, even if I energy slow, it literally will zip me back up to fill, which net my base is 15,000. So, uh, yeah, I really should have, like, eaten those fingers over time. <laughs> and I could have kept buffing my... Well, actually, I don't know about that. I don't know, like, if you've already eaten a finger and you eat another one, does it buff you back to fill again? Or, rather, or does it just add on the extra? I know it buffs you to fill if you're not in Sukuna mode. And technically, I'm not in Sukuna... Well, I'm in Sukuna mode. I'm, gonna be like, I'm not in finger... Just eating finger fresh Sukuna mode. So... There is a slight difference. Ah, whatever. But yeah, okay, we gave that good shot against Gojira and we still got destroyed. Because, I don't know, purple just annihilated us or something. I, I I don't even know what happened to my health bar there. But then again, I was also getting attacked by Sukuna and stuff at the same time. So I, I, there was a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Okay, no, uh, 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 I am going to focus on making uh, the potions really quick. So to that end, uh, where is the school again? If I go to, I think, Broken Finger over here... Yeah, there's a skill over there, which actually is a death point. Wait, oh, yeah, because I wanted to reset and come back. Cool. Uh, there should be potion-making stuff in here. I think hospitals have things as well. After that, it's just golden carrots and netherite, but I, I, like, I think a lot of the potion-making stuff is in... Actually, wait, no. Everything, all of it's in the... Yeah, I should probably just go to a hospital. Hospitals have literally everything, don't they? The hospital right over there. Just head over there really quick. Cause yeah, they've got their hidden potion rooms and stuff, which I think just has all the potion making supplies. I think. I don't know for sure. I can't remember the last time I wanted to go make potions, but I think night fishing potions, given how often I end up underground against Gojo and that. Yeah. Okay, I can use my domain against Gojo. That is actually a thing. Because uh, with the general backing me. Wait, no, 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 it's the McDonald's. Okay, it's not a hospital, never mind. Okay, uh, where is the nearest hospital then? Cause, I mean, you have brewing stands, great, but you don't have, like, you know, the potion making stuff that I require, so. Oh, wait, that's definitely a hospital there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's also near that other prison I need to check out at some point anyway, because it's only a matter of time before I do something dumb and break the. Like, I don't know what can break those spawners. I don't know if Dismantle can do it, whether it has to be Malevolent Shrine. Dismantle might be able to break it. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I wanted to reset anyway, didn't I? That's why I went looking for a strong opponent to go fight without a killer in the world. Uh, yeah, now we can get Merge Beast back again, which... I I, I don't think he was going to be much help against Gojo there. Like, I, I can he, he can't even touch Gojo, technically. He might be useful against Sukuna a little bit, but, like... Best? I don't know when. I mean, the whole idea of him is he might be able to heal me as well, but with all this extra curse energy, I don't know if I need him for that. I, I don't know when. I don't know I don't know when he's going to be useful. I don't know when Agatha's actually going to be useful. <laughs> I assume they'll be a use for him somewhere. He is kind of bulk here and stuff. And I guess he does save you curse energy, so, you know, you've got the option. But, like... I don't know, when you get Sukuna mode already, like, it'd definitely be really handy if you're using just 10 shadows, without a doubt. If, it, if you're just 10 shadows, I guess I'll be able to heal you in battle with your limited curse energy. Huge. If you're using Sukuna mode, <laughs> you've got a lot of curse energy to heal with, so, you know, not quite as required. It can't touch Gojo. He will get shredded by Sukuna very quickly. I don't know how long it'll last against Sukuna. Either way, I need to let my other guys get destroyed so I can like summon them anyway, because I would like to have them as an option. And, because I don't know, I don't know how much damage output he does. He might actually, wait, hold on, I can test that though. Oh yeah, I can test with the dummies. I can see how strong he is compared to the other guys. Because I am, I am curious. I, I do want to know how powerful he is. Oh, I've got a new curse spirit. Hello. You're just a great tool. I like your animation now. That was cool. That's another McDonald's. What? Oh, wait, no. Behind it. Behind it. Behind it. There's another one. It's fine. I was about to say, wait, seriously? I went for the same building again? There's no way. Yeah, no. No, there is no way. No. No, I only did it because there's two different sized buildings with one being much bigger and has a little bit in the roof to show it's the hospital with the little bit in the roof. So it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, where's the potion room? I'm pretty sure it's where all the good lit is. Like, just next to it. Oh, wait. This is the Oh, no. Okay, I mean, well, why and everything's just respawned in the hospital, so that's cool. Didn't intend to deal with you a lot, but whatever. I have no issue dealing with you again. Oh, you're there again. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, that's a potion thing. That's not what we care about. Be gone. Alright, there we go. Right, uh... 
He just made noises again. You just respawn everything again. Oh my lord, it did. It respawned everything again. <laughs> oh, hey, there's your spawner. Be gone. It won't go. It won't go. Okay, so it, th just so we're clear, this mana was never the issue. Cool. Glad we're clear on that. Duds! There's so many of them. So unnecessary. Better torch then. Bunk. Uh. Attack. Be gone. Alright, where, 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 where is the thing, where is the thing, where is the thing? Like along the very shrooms and stuff, and do ba -do. Ah, there it is. So, yeah, the secret passage is lit, yeah, in here. Follow the blood trail. Yellow. Follow the blood trail. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of secret potion things in here. Slowness and some damage and stuff, and dump -ba do and yeah, there's some stuff in here, cool. Uh, not the stuff I want, though. Damn. I was really hoping there'd be, you know, stuff for making potions. Uh, where's, where's all the netherite? <laughs> That's why I need, I need the netherite, otherwise it's useless. Oh, damn it. I, I thought there'd be netherite in here. Never mind then. Okay, wait. Maybe the skill is the best option. Maybe the skill does have what I need. Alright, we're going back to the skill then. <laughs> damn it. This didn't quite work out to plan. I just want potions and night vision. <laughs> I just want, I just want unlimited supply of potions and night vision. Is that so much to ask? I feel like there is a brewing room in here somewhere. I need to find the thing. <laughs> I don't know where that is. I, don't, I haven't paid a lot of attention to where, what's where in the school. So, this will be a whole thing. I guess I just go room to room. Sure. Okay, here's all the food. Which is great if you want food, which is not what I want currently. That's a damn shame. Uh, buddle, buddle, buddle. Okay, then there's bring stuff in here. Well, there's bring stands in here, but this is home economics basically, so it's just it's just more cooking, isn't it? That's not all we need. Where's the nether right? I don't want to go to the nether. That's so much work. I feel like I may have to go to the nether though to get what I want. <laughs> all this for tart fishing, because everything ends up underground because of all the fighting. Because like you cannot fight Gojo and just stay on the surface. It will not happen. It just, it just it's not gonna happen because. There's too many hills and holes in this place. So what are they going to do? They're going to fall on one eventually. They have to either chase them down or just end the fight there. But like, you want you want to win the fight. You don't want to just leave it. So, you know, you have to fall though. It's a whole hullabaloo. Okay, well, if there is another in here, I don't know where it is. Um, but I, if anyone knows in the comments where I could find a good source of netherite, that'd be great. I have no idea. So that's quite unfortunate. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, I think it's another... Another thing you're buying here? No, wait, I'm thinking of a different place. How to buy? Okay, well, I guess a different type. Actually, I know what I want to do right now. I'm gonna go over here. Yolo! Wait, I'm thing. Yeah, let's fight you. Finish you off really quick. Just cause them here. Where's the kind Did you beat him up? I'm guessing your perp will destroy them. But yeah, like you launched a purple or something, just absolutely decimating me. I think you did. Did you do that explodey one where it explodes around you or something? Seriously? Wait up there. Oh yeah, I've not got the general's ring on my head right now. There you go. First kiss technique. Beautiful. I really should have let him hit me with some more techniques there, so we could adapt to them. Oh well, never mind. Oh, cool. Look, so look at the area. Yeah, so this is what's left the area. <laughs> when in Rome? Wait, what? Oh, I, I found a catacombs. That is the catacombs one, isn't it? Yeah, set foot in a catacomb. I mean, I, I sort of did. <laughs> Not quite in the way you may expect, but I sort of did. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, still more catacombs if we really want the adventures. So don't, we don't. We don't care. We're not that bothered. I, I mostly just had them on. I don't even know why I put them on in. I think it was just an option, so it's in, but like... I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to go in the catacombs in this mod. I, I think it's more just uh, in case I think of a crazy thing and I want regular mobs available to me. Okay, well, as things currently stand... Where is he? Fish! We sort of have a plan of action against Gojo. Sort of. I, I'm not able to do this fish. He's literally dodging me. He goes too quickly when I try to... Barrage! <laughs> oh, fish. Anyway, yeah. So, I was sort of going to play against Gojo. I, like, I can sort of counter his domain using, you know, the general in my domain. 
So that's cool. Oh wow, I, I, I thought I'd do a bit. I, I, I thought I'd get to see him do something there. Never mind. Oh yeah, monsters are invisible in this. I probably don't want to be near catacombs. That's just gonna be annoying. But yeah, anyway, uh, I, I really, I, what happened in that fight? Was my HP low and he used purple and it just decimated me? Because I know we can take it like two odd rows, two and a half rows. With that, I guess maybe that's what happened. Wow, Ogi does not stand a chance. That's insane. Uh, hi. Toji! Can you come back? Toji! He's doing that thing again. He's doing that thing again where he, I can't catch him. <laughs> oh, there he is. The second I powered down my technique, you came for me. Animist. This will let me figure out if I can actually hit you with this damn technique because I wasn't able to before. But I'm pretty sure a big part of that is because you keep not moving away and not knocking me back in that so quickly. Yeah, I can still hit you with it. Cool. I just wanted to confirm that because I was fairly certain I could. I just had to be sure. What do you got? Uh, hey, he dropped two weapons this time. Still never drops his shirt though. Literally, I, 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 like, okay, I'm after him for, like, you know, the, the thing around his neck. But, like, I want to get his clothing, tell his, his, his trousers and top and all that, because, you know, it's good clothing. Never drops those. Can never, can never get him to drop those. Really unfortunate. Oh, well, what can you do? Wow, there's tons of XP everywhere. I do love the destruction of our domain expansion. <laughs> it's beautiful. But, um, yeah, okay. Go do sort of plan. Sakuna, not really. Little Sakuna was sort of ignoring him. Hello! Dude, I've got, like, a lot of energy now, so I'm actually kind of curious how well I can do. On top of that, also got access to... Ow. Oh, yeah, fighting you in an open field. This is going to be annoying, because you have the whole knocking me back thing constantly. But yeah, I have the general in my back pocket to use against you. So that could be happening. I could dunk with help. Oh, and you reverse me. Did. Of course you did. Of course you did. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna start charging Cleave up really quick. Blunk. I think you just cleave me back there, yo. I think you did, but like you're you're taking a lot. You're taking a lot of hits here, mate. I mean, yeah, you're healing it, but like you're taking a lot of hits here as you're doing it. And like your regular attacks aren't doing much. I think with the number of things I've eaten at this point, I am generally a tier above you. That said, though, you have cancelled out my 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 cleave techniques charging three or four times now. Kind of annoying, that. Yeah, I don't think you can really stand up to this now. Uh-oh. The main expansion, malevolent shrine. Cleave. Yeah, that's right. Getting close, getting close, getting close. Because now, now we're both on even footing here until someone's domain beats the other person's domain. And given how low your HP is, I feel like I know whose domain's gonna break first. Yeah! That's what I thought. Yeah, so Little Sukun is not really a baller anymore. I don't feel pressure by him anymore. Like, I, I think with our, you know... I think a big part of it is we've eaten that many fingers. We now count as a tier above him, so he doesn't get his piercing damage done as much. So I don't get hurt as hard. <laughs> I think that's a big part of it, for one. Uh, but then, yeah, just generally we've got a lot of curse energy, so we can now, like, you know, heal ourselves comfortably. So we can have an extended fight without worrying about our health bar dropping down. We figured out how cleave works, so hey, that that does a lot. That uh, that'll easily get rid of some most of our opponents. But okay, let's get no boss. Shadow's gonna still a whole different fish. Uh, we've also got to deal with him. He's now enhanced with Agito, and while you know using Agito against him, not really gonna do much. Him using it against us kind of bothersome, cause then I have to deal with him. So that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing we're gonna have to deal with at some point. But whatever. Okay, right, well, 16 fingers in. <laughs> we took a step forward. Of the four really, really powerful opponents in this, go with the three Sukunas. We've managed to beat the weakest Sukuna. Awesome. Cool. Anyway, for now, though, people, get in things there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hopefully, that's a positive step forward with, the, with, these, with these fingers in hand, this extra curse energy, and this extra defense and power and boom, ba -dum. I, uh, We've got a shot here. I, like, we were sort of handling Gojo for a minute there. Like we were going to win until we weren't. I just have to remember to keep my HP a lot higher. Because if I see... Like, I didn't see him charging purple until it was too late. Mostly because I had the Sukuna in my face. <laughs> and other stuff going on. <laughs> oh, the boss. I didn't react quickly enough to that at all. But, hey, if we managed to get one-on-one, -on -one, maybe we could beat him as well. Then it's just two Sukunas, which... 
I'm really curious how that's going to go. I still don't know how we're going to beat Prime Sakuna, but we'll deal with that fish when the time comes. Hard to bar. But hey, finally a W! <laughs> I've been getting beat so much the last like 10 episodes. <laughs> finally I got a W! We beat someone! I feel confident and powerful for once. <laughs> it took this long, but it's finally happening. All the fuck. Right, anyway, for now, people, see you all next time for some more Jutsu Kaisen adventures. Go! Bye, everybody! Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support, and a special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the Johnny member, Sebastian Ramsey, and the Unbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Bato, bato, bato.